Good day everyone, my name is Anna and uh, we're going to look together at the writer sample created by MediaLux company. The writer sample is a demo for MWriter object and it illustrates how to capture a live source to the file or how to stream it to the network. And in order to start capturing, uh, we have to select the device and you can do it right here in this section. Right now, none is selected. Let's take a look at the HD webcam first. And, hello, that's me. For the purposes of this uh, demo video, we're gonna choose the Logitech, another device. And it is very much alive, as you will see, yep. And uh, here, uh, you can set the properties of your devices and the next one is the format. This is the video formats. Oops, there was a lot of dropping down. But you can see that we have so many of them. Choose the one you need. Again, set up the audio, audio device. Select the audio device. And set up the audio format. Yeah, and you can adjust the properties. So uh, in the writer sample, we can uh, do or work one device at a time and in order to choose between them you can close the device choose the next one and initialize it and that's me again <laughs> and we're gonna close it choose the one we want and initialize it let's look at this little section now with a box titled delay enabled what does it do? Delay enabled is used if it's necessary in order to time shift your live source. And you can choose the amount of seconds you want to time shift the source. For example, we check it, we mark it, and let's set it up at 12 seconds. And uh, this slider helps you to seek through the time shifted source. but in order to have a better understanding how it works, let's switch back to me. Yep, there I am. Right now, the preview type set to live, so as I speak, you can see it. Let's set it up to delayed. And let's look at what happens. Uh, here we set our delay time. And I am talking, but uh, the picture is delayed, and you can seek through the delayed picture. So that's the quite a neat feature. Let's uncheck it and turn back to the Logitech. Yep, there we go. So the next part of our sample is the window below delay enable that illustrates the param parameters of the incoming stream and there are many many parameters as you can see the more detailed information you can find in our user guide or documentation on our web page next let's look at this little section where you can choose the video and audio format please note that if you want to capture your file in a format that is different from your incoming format you can choose you can choose it right here before starting your capture right below it is this section where you can select a file container and audio and video encoders and if we click we see a whole list of different encoders for audio and video respectively and a whole list of the file containers which you can choose from and that is for the settings then you can start your capture and it prompts you to the next window that will tell you where you want to save your files choose what's appropriate and start your capture please note that also you can pause your capture for a specific amount of seconds, amount of time, number of seconds. You can also stop it here and uh, you can also choose the maximum file duration and uh, 
that will help you to split uh, your capture file into smaller segments that will be saved and also you can choose the option of starting your capture at a specific time uh, as it's set on your clock, computer clock. So the last but not least is our preview window which is um, very similar to the playlist sample preview uh, where you can enable and disable the video and also you can enable and disable audio preview and control the volume of it. AR is uh, responsible for keeping the aspect ratio. You can also enter full screen and you can also uh, have your preview deinterlaced which is a neat feature if you want to have a high quality preview. And again, additional options, CG enabled and a virtual source, very very similar to our playlist sample. And finally, coming back to this little blue screen, what does it show? This is your status box that shows uh, information about status information about your capturing process and it allows you to monitor capture session statistics. So that's about it and I am ready to say bye, enjoy our products and as always feedback is very very welcome. Thank you, bye bye!